Ever since I was a child, I've been fascinated by how the brain works, how a different brain could have a different personality. My name is Philip Burnett. I'm a neuroscientist at the Department of Psychiatry, University of Oxford. My research is primarily focused on how gut bacteria can influence the function of the brain. The gut-brain axis is a concept that links the gut and the brain. The scientific evidence shows us that imbalances in the microbiome are associated with a number of different conditions. When we talk about the microbiome, usually what we're referring to is the gastrointestinal microbiome, and this refers to all of the microorganisms present, bacteria, viruses, fungi, and also a group of organisms called archaea. All of these microorganisms interact. That can affect loads of different organ systems. Some of these microorganisms in our gastrointestinal tract actually produce neurotransmitters. And this is one of the ways that we think that the gut microbiome can influence what goes on in the brain. And a lot of the research that we're doing is looking at how live microbial supplements could rebalance the microbiome for people with certain conditions. Live microbial supplements, or LMS, are bacteria that can naturally be found in your gut. We produce LMS under strict GMP quality control, whether this is a capsule or even a sachet. The bacteria are fermented at our sister company, ADM Biopolis, and then they are brought here where all of the ingredients are carefully combined together before moving on to the finished product form. LMS are effective due to their viable state. One of the main challenges is keeping them alive throughout their development process, production, and also the shelf life. Right now, there are a great many different academic teams around the world looking at the microbiome. For example, Professor Burnett, who we're working with on a really interesting study for individuals experiencing low mood. Fifty percent of people who suffer from depression are categorized as having moderate depression. Now, this is what we called low mood. In our recent study, we recruited people with low mood to test whether the LMS could improve brain health. We needed an LMS that consisted of several species of bacteria. I initially contacted ADM Protexin, who were not only enthusiastic about the study, but also were happy to provide the supplement. participants didn't know whether they were taking LMS or placebo, and neither did we. This is what we call a double-blind study. What we found was that people who took the LMS had a significant improvement in their mood. This is fantastic news for ADM Protexin, as it not only further supports the link between the gut and the brain, but it builds foundations for other health areas that our products could benefit we would have to repeat the study with a lot more people. But, as it stands, these results are very encouraging. I'm hoping that these findings will not only help treat low mood, but also prevent people developing a more serious mental health condition. There is no health without mental health. For me, that makes it really imperative that we explore all available scientific research options. Currently, we have 10 clinical trials underway, but it's my hope that in the future, 
we're going to have a much larger research program to truly understand the role of the microbiome in health and disease.